Welcome back. I've showed you how to go into the Buzz folder in the previous video. Select Unit 7. Here is the folder for the project choices. This is like having that yellow paper that was sent home to be shared by you and your parents to talk about it. However, a lot of students probably lost them and that's why I like the digital backup. Parents, if you do not know what choices a child can do, come in here and click the plus button to go through and talk to your child to see what they can make to present about their, pro their civilization. Okay, let's say I've already made my choice like I did, shown in the first video. Here is the next thing you're going to do. We made our choice. We got my Google Doc rubric template. I named it, changed it over here, put my facts in here, and worked on my paragraphing down here, made my nice little paragraph, and of course uh, notes for presentations, outlines down here, worked on gathering facts by looking at websites and organizing my thoughts and create my works cited page already of those websites I've used by doing the easy bib leography creator and adding my sources. What's nice about this is yes you can look up books and journal articles as well but that you can play with later. Now what to do with your rubric. You do not have to have all of this filled in to do this next step. You just have to have made the copy, put your name into it, and start at the top to submit it into Buzz. Then of course you can go back and finish, fill in, or fix until your presentation date. So how to share this into Buzz. Very simple. I'm going to click, come up here and hit click the share button. Please do not type in my email address here. If so, I get emails and you guys are sharing it into my box directly. It's not what I want. I want it submitted into Buzz by clicking on Get a Shareable Link right here. Okay, I could just click Copy Link, but that's not what I need from you. I need you to come click right here this button here and I want you to allow editing however if you're working on this at home or on a parents computer if they're not a Twin Falls School District Gmail person they cannot access it as well so here's a good trick go down to more if you click the more button now I can say anyone with the link so you could be on a parent's computer, your brother's computer, whatever. As long as you have your link, you can open this and edit it. But wait, please do not click anything quite yet. After you click that button, come down here. Right down in here, you have the access, what you're giving permission for the person with the link to do. If you click here, you're going to want to make sure it says can edit. This way, if you're even on a tablet and still want to work on your paragraphs or research, you can get access to this link through Buzz. And as long as you have it, anyone with a link can edit it, you can continue to edit your own paper. Okay, so now that we've clicked this button and allowed can edit, you're going to hit save. Now, back here on the page, it says anyone with the link can edit. Perfect. That's what we wanted. You're going to copy the link, hit done. It says right here, copy link, copy to clipboard. So you do not have to do control C if you want to. Control C again. It's still the same thing. Hit done. Back in bus. You are going to submit your link into your Dropbox. By clicking the Show Dropbox button, click here and say Paste It, Control V, or 
If you have right click available, control, right click, and paste. Most of the students know the keystroke. Okay, like I was saying, for the students, they've learned the keystrokes control C to copy, control V buttons to paste. If you need any help, parents, your students could and will be able to help you soon, if not already today. Once you have submitted your website, and it ends with the word sharing, then you hit the button submit. In this case, I am not going to come back into this website and check your work until your presentation time. I will be able to click in my gradebook, just click right on your link and present. So let's say you, students, are trying to finish your work and you're not on a Chromebook or signed in as you. Here is what you do. You have your link right here by clicking the I, your link, and you can open it and work on it anywhere. This is very helpful for everybody. Again, how I found that was I clicked on my assignment, went over here, clicked the I for information, which shows the details, my submission history, and analytical. However, that's not what you worry about at the moment. You're going to worry about this button. That is the link to open up the Google Doc. Okay, now that we got that much done, let's talk about in Buzz. How do I make a choice of when I'm going to present? Okay, back to the You Become folder. Up here, I created a wonderful checklist for the students. In this checklist, it talks about the due dates. It also talks about how to reserve your spot to present. Okay, easy. Click on that link and it will open up. Okay, I already opened it up here so you can see. In this link though, you cannot see it the way you would because this button right here is the only one that you can really do to this document. Okay, so as I said, this is the only button that you can do besides the information at the bottom. You're going to select what class period you are in. First, second, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. As you can see down here, those are the tally marks of the people who've made comments. Well, let me take a set look at second period because I did not go into it yesterday and add things. First of all, you'll notice that there are blacked out dates. Those dates are times that are not uh, in the classroom to do it. Also, I only have spots for 11 presenters. However, if there are more people ready to go on that day and we have time, we will present. If not, we will present another day. So, let me model in second period what you will do at home. You choose the date and locate present presentation spot that you want to be in. You click the cell. Then, you come to your comment button. You do not need to put your name because as you can see, it put my name in already. Talk about what you're going to do. Um, as, oops, stop, Aztec Education. No food. Maybe I decide to make their education example using food or pyramids made out of food or bridges or other items. Yes, that is possible. You do not have to use food as a medium, 
of tools. However, you can. So I put my comment in. Now anybody coming in should not add a comment there because there's already one. But let's say somebody did want to try and take that spot. Well, if they put another comment and button, it's not going to work. When you have made your choice, I will go in and transfer your option, your name, into that spot. Now, we have an idea of who's presenting and what times are still available. Again, I would suggest you figure it out what dates are going to be the best for you and time. Okay, I have just now added all the people who have signed up already for a position in second period. If there are more people wanting to present on the first or second day of the week, your choices, you can. The blue selection in Friday is because we have a shortened class periods. Therefore, we might not get as many presenters. There is more time, generally, than just 11 people to present. However, I decided to round it off in a nice even number. If you are still wanting to present and all the spots are filled up and you're ready to go, bring it in and of course, add a little spot, either here or there, a comment that it's all full. I would still like to present if possible, and I will follow up on it. If you're ready to go, 99% chance you're going to present that day. Okay, that was how to choose where to present. One more time. In Buzz, your Unit 7 folder your check folder for the project, there was this wonderful link here that will let you go in and add a comment. And it's, then I have questions to help you make sure you're ready. If there's the yes, perfect, the no, it helps you by looking at videos. I've tried to provide links or videos to help you get full credit. Again, if you want to do a presentation, please do Google Slides over PowerPoint because Slides then is easily linked into Buzz. Finally, one last detail. This is going to be only for the people who are going to do a presentation in Google Slides or need to show images in their another Google Doc or something like that. I'm going to show you how to link your document into your rubric. Okay, let's say my project was going to be a three-dimensional model and a digital presentation. In my title, I kind of indicated that. Yes, if you need a little bit more space to write, that's why I like my digital way of writing versus just a piece of paper that gets messy. If you don't know how to start a Google slide or other form of presentation, you always want to play start in what's called Drive, Google Drive. In there, you get choices of what you're going to create. You have your docs, you can do your drawings, you can, I mean, a lot of kids have already been exploring. If you're concerned and you have questions, ask me and I will help you out as much as I can. Here's Google Slides. Okay, of course you need a title presentation or presentation name before you can share it. We're going to say you become. So I saved it with a name. You're going to hit the share button, get shareable link, allow, where's your presentation? You can either do edit, comment, or view. For just a presentation you generally do not want people to be able to edit on your page. 
However, for feedback features, it is nice to allow them to comment or add comments to it. That way you can learn from your mistakes. If you are wanting feedback from me or help from me, you will have to have the link say, can edit. If you, again, are going to be having to work on this on another device that is not signed in under your account, then you're going to want to do the step that I mentioned before by doing more, anyone with the link, and can comment, edit, whatever. For you, edit for a presentation or sharing, can view or can, can comment. So I'm going to say can comment. Now I have it here. I'm going to hit copy link and done. Go back into my rubric, highlight the word I want, and hyperlink it this way. Paste. I'm going to add the link here. Now this word is part of this document. If I want to, and I'm being graded, the person can open up the link just by clicking here now. You see it open up a new page. Okay. Finally, now that I showed you how to add a link into your document, so if you do a presentation, please link it within your rubric at the top so that during presentation time I can click on it to help present it. Other things in this resource, this folder here now, is the checklist. Go through it before you're done and ready to submit for me to grade you. Two, I did provide other links. I have been trying to develop a Google Doc with websites and a little bit of feedback. If you still cannot find things within the choice project, you can also try checking here. So when I find a good document or a good website, I try and add it into a document here. If you find a great website, add the links in here and give a little bit of a description to it. That's not required. Of course, it's an option. And finally, for the presentation information, over here is going to be where, as students, you are going to grade each other. Here is a form I created, and as they are presenting, you're going to be looking for the facts. So it's a great motivator. You do not use it, this link, until presentation time. So this is just as an easy connect link. And I believe that takes care of all of the organizing, background information, how to do, how to add on a bibliography tool, all those wonderful skills on the You Choose project. Do remember, if you have a great idea and you're not sure, email and ask me. Maybe take a picture or something and email me. I love to learn based off of what you, students, do. Yes, if you do a research essay, you still have to write the two paragraphs as the outline shows. Plus, you'll have to present your facts and your essay to the class. One last thing. You can only present up to five minutes. If it's beyond five minutes, of course you're going to lose a little bit of points. If you really need extra time, again, email me and I will look into it further. Okay. Parents, same thing. If you're confused, you can take snapshots and email me the pictures and I can say yes, no, maybe so. I know being gone right before a major project is not the best. However, this is what I have and here's my help way of helping. The next video I will show will explain the Unit 7 assignments 
and how and what you should have done before you're ready for your quiz.